Hey everyone, welcome back to episode number two of our shingle roof mini series. Today we're going to be looking at drip edge and drip edge installation. So here I have a piece of drip edge. Sorry, it's a little mangled. We've used it a couple of times here. Uh, these are kind of roof mock-ups um, in a shop that gets continuously used by apprentices and students. Um, so some of this material um, has been kind of used before, um, but this will be good demonstration on installing drip edge, its uses, and uh, a little difference between rake edge and eve edge. So your drip edge, I have a 45 degree drip edge here. This will be used at the eave. If you'd like to use a drip edge at the rake, you would bend this at a 90 so you get wrapped around that fascia board real nice. Now, depends where you are, drip edge may be code, um, depends by region. Um, up here in Canada, where I'm at, drip edge isn't required at all, um, but we like to install it for sure at the eaves and leave it optional um, at the rake edge because our aluminum fascia generally covers pretty high up. So at the eave, purpose of drip edge, help guide that water right into your eaves troughs or your gutter. So two different ways we can install this. You can install it over top of the ice and water. Uh, if you do go over top of the ice and water, what you want to do is lap that ice and water over your fascia by a couple inches or cover your entire fascia, depending on if this is getting covered with aluminum or steel or any other type of fascia covering. So you would install this like so, flush with the fascia board. If you're installing your ice and water shield over top, you install it and come over top. <clears throat> so like I said, uh, these roofs have been used uh, multiple times, so I have a few layers of ice and water shield here. Before you start any roof project, make sure that you're down to your clean deck, inspect the decking. Uh, if you can't get the ice and water off, cut the sheathing, replace it. Um, chances are you're not gonna be able to peel that off. So cut the sheathing, replace them with some fresh sheathing, install a new ice and water shield and you're good to go. I'm not going to spend a million hours trying to tear this off um, or replace the sheathing. So let's pretend this is a clean deck. You install your ice water or your drip edge, pardon, and then your ice and water shield would come flush with the edge of the drip edge over top. Now, installing drip edge at the rakes, you want your drip edge to go over top of any eave protection underlayment. So if you're doing your synthetic underlayment, you'd want the drip edge to go over top of anything. So regardless, your rake drip edge always goes over top of your underlayments. Your eave, you have the option of installing it either over or under. All right, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna install this only at the eave. I'm not gonna worry about the valley right now. We'll deal with the valley in future episodes. I'm gonna treat this like it's a straight shot. So I'm gonna install it at the eave. I'm going to picture that this is a clean deck. I'm going to then bring my ice and water over top of the drip edge. We're going to leave the rake without a drip edge for now. So I'll just kind of tack this in and uh, we'll install our drip edge. So you want to make sure you're nice and flush to the fascia board at the eaves. And you nail that in. All right, there you have it. Drip edge, you wanna put on your rake, get a 90 degree drip edge. It'll help guide any ice, water, anything else into your trough or gutter that you would then have installed. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for the next episode. If you missed the last few, check those out. Thanks.